In an uncommon approach to military training, the U.S. Army has inducted inflatable mock-ups of the Russian T-72 tank, mounted on Humvees, to enhance the training of its soldiers. The decoy photo published here was shared on November 6, 2023. Demonstrated by the 2nd Infantry Brigade Combat Team of the 25th Infantry Division, these fake tanks are actually modified Humvees. They were used at the Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center, JPMRC, in Hawaii on November 6, 2023. The JPMRC is the Army's latest combat training center, CTC, known for its realistic operational scenario simulations. The introduction of these T-72 simulators is a testament to the Army's commitment to providing practical and effective training. These Humvees are transformed using lightweight frames, fabric coverings, and inflatable parts to imitate the appearance and silhouette of the Russian T-72. A notable feature is the rotating turret, which adds to the realism of the training module. These simulated tanks are further enhanced by the Army's multiple integrated laser engagement system, MILES. This system, when attached to various vehicles and weapons, allows for realistic combat simulations, recording hits and kills during exercises. This innovative blend of visual mimicry and interactive technology aims to better equip soldiers for real combat conditions. These replicas can also be used in actual operations to deceive the enemy, making them believe that the armed forces are larger or concentrated in a specific area, whereas in reality, they operate elsewhere. These strategies can increase the chances of success in an operation while reducing risks to military personnel. In a training context, these mock-ups allow commanders and troops to practice maneuvers and plan their responses to situations they might encounter on the battlefield. However, this is not the first time that mock-ups of Russian vehicles have been observed within the U.S. Armed Forces. On June 16, 2022, we already talked about this type of product on Army recognition. The Russians are also not left behind and produce similar inflatable vehicles for their training or even certain operations.